How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. Come check out this week's Build Showcase of this 2020 Ford Expedition. We're taking a look at this 2020 Ford Expedition Max version. Um, features blueprint, multiplex electrical system, interior light bar, dual color sound off. We've got Hella Heroes in the headlights, replacement turn signals, no drill, no modification of the headlight, retaining all of your factory warranty. We've got a headlight fog light flasher on the front of this. And what we've also done is we've replaced all the factory bulbs with LED bulbs to give them more functionality out of the headlight flasher and then also better, safer driving conditions. Very nice feature. Um, also in the grill, 4M powers in tri-color with the white override. Uh, this is our drive response mode, so we've got a more aggressive pattern, white flashing in there. And we've also activated the headlight taillight flasher in the front headlights to give them, uh, when they're on scene, not to have so much white flashing, which is a very nice feature to have. It's automatic, done through the Blueprint Link system. So taking a look, we've tinted out all the windows to give them uh, extra protection for anything inside. Uh, we've got Enforce Single in the second row seat window, Enforce Dual deck grill in the rear side window. Okay, so taking a look at the back. Up first, we've got Sound of Signal M Powers on the rear hatch. We've brought in Technique dual color red white lights up into the hatch, and then also a eight inch light up above the cabinet to give them, them uh, lighting over top of the cabinet. And then we have a uh, dual position switch to give them uh, red night lights and then white scene lights. This is controlled through the blueprint system so that when the hatch opens, it powers up the switch and turns the lights on so you don't forget to accidentally shut the lights off and have to get back out of the car, come back, turn them off, get back in the car, and then leave. So with the cabinet, uh, we've got uh, an inverter system to allow them to charge any equipment that they have. Um, when they're on the road, we've got a large pull-out tray up top. Full extension access to all their equipment. They also have access to the equipment when they flip down the second row seat. So if they have stuff at the back, they don't necessarily have to always pull the slide out and grab over top of whatever else they have. We've got two simplex lock drawers. Again, full extension, plenty of storage room inside them to give them uh, a lot of flexible space. And then the same on the other side with the other lock. So looking at the back, you can see the cabinets flat across the back. Uh, what we have done is we've utilized our replacement floor to mount all our blueprint components and our inverter system to give us access to all of our fuse panels um, and the blueprint controller all very easily uh, for serviceability. So what the customer elected in this vehicle is to retain the factory center console, go with a handheld controller that's going to be the uh, bracket will be mounted for them at a later time once they come to pick the truck up. It gives them uh, their arrow features, uh, their takedown, their rear cut, cruise, uh, low power, and then they also have the low frequency siren in it. And then they also have a handheld controller for their radio, uh, which will also be mounted for them when they come pick up. Also, we've brought their inverter controller up to the headliner to keep it out of the way, uh, allowing them to power it up while they're driving and monitor it while they are operating the vehicle. Thanks for checking out this week's Build Showcase. If you have any questions about this vehicle or another vehicle designed better to suit your needs, please feel free to reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us an email, comment on the video. We'd love to hear any of your questions or uh, any feedback.